Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Rudder Lessons and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and I hope that this video finds you well. Today, it is my pleasure and my honor to be talking about a 2020 discovery of mine and this is one of the coziest fragrances that I have in my collection. This one by the company Tsuga Parfum is called Wine and Chocolate, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin my fragrance review of Wine and Chocolate by Tsuga Parfum and I tell you all about this very special full bottle giveaway, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like fragrance reviews just like this, but also top lists, giveaways, unboxings, special guests, interviews, and pretty much anything having to do with fragrances, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, please be sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. This way, whenever I do put out these videos, they will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future uploads. So first things first, I just want to take a moment to congratulate James Barry, the perfumer and founder of this company, for having his fragrances being available on LuckyScent.com. Congratulations. I know that that is no simple feat and it's such a special home for you to have your fragrances. And as an independent perfumer, you definitely deserve all of the attention that you're getting. I've actually seen a few other videos here on YouTube of people praising your creations and they are absolutely gorgeous. So James was actually kind enough to send me a sample of all of the fragrances in his collection. And I must say, this is the one that I fell in love with and thus I am going to be speaking about it on my channel today. There is also going to be a giveaway attached to this video for a full-size bottle of one of his six creations. He actually has more than six, but there are six that you can pick from. I'm going to leave them all down below, and all you need to do is go on over to the website and subscribe to his mailing list, where he will talk about future promotions and, you know, announcements and events and pretty much anything pertaining to the brand. You can discover that over on his mailing list, so I'm going to leave a link for that down below. So definitely make sure to subscribe to the mailing list because that's one of the ways that you'll be able to enter the giveaway and then come back to this video and leave a comment down below and let me know that if you had to purchase or discover one of his fragrances which one sounds the most appealing to you that's all you got to do leave a comment down below and i'm going to be picking the winning comment in one week's time we're also going to double check to make sure that you are subscribed to the mailing list as well and i'm going to pin the winning comment to the top of the comment thread so definitely make sure to check back on this video in one week to see if you've won now, of course, this one is called Wine and Chocolate, and that's exactly what you're going to get. The moment I smelled this fragrance, it reminded me of coming home after a long day at work, you know, sitting on my couch, really melting into my sofa, pouring myself an adult beverage, turning on the fireplace, you see the snow coming down, maybe you put on some classical music in the background, and you just close your eyes and you relax. It's so transportive, it's so immersive and so meditative. It has this burst of red fruits in the opening as well. Oh my goodness, this is such an incredible fragrance. And you can tell there's an abundance of naturals and it's so meticulously put together, small batches, close attention to detail. Everything that you see here is handmade from the packaging to the liquid on the inside of the bottle. This is such a special creation. I'm so excited to tell you more about the fragrance, but let's start things off with the presentation. I must say this is one of the most beautiful indie presentations that I have seen. And please keep in mind that this is handmade by the perfumer James Barry. Here you have the box. It just has the name of the company here on the front, Tsuga. It also has the name written on the side here. And it looks like a book. You might be wondering how it opens up. You actually pull it on the side here and it opens up very smoothly. And then you see the bed in which the fragrance rests very comfortably in here. Really gorgeous presentation as far as this wooden box is concerned. And the bottle for this one is beautiful as well. You can just tell the juice inside the bottle is so dark. Just a couple of sprays are all you need. And this bottle will last you a very, very long time. You see a piece of wood affixed to the front of the bottle here. You see the strap uh, encompassing the perimeter of the cap. Everything is done by hand. Really beautiful attention to detail. And of course, here you have the name of the fragrance on the back with a little graphic sort of helping you paint the picture of what this fragrance is going to smell like. The distribution on the atomizer is nice and wide. I don't want to waste more than one spray because this is a precious fragrance and I can just smell it. It has completely filled up the entire room. Let's continue with the smell. 
Wow, I just want to start off with a disclaimer. Do not spray this fragrance on lightly colored fabrics. <laughs> if you do, it is inevitably going to stain the fabrics. I actually sprayed it on this test strip. You probably can tell, but there is a little bit of a discoloration here or a coloration, I should say, because the test strip itself is white. But in any case, this is a strong fragrance. This is very strongly concentrated. Oh my God, there is such an abundance of natural ingredients being used in here. And I absolutely love the way that this one smells. You can tell this one is unlike any other fragrance you will have put your nose on before. And the way that it's pieced together, all of the ingredients utilized in here, you can tell there was a lot of attention going into this one and a lot of thought in terms of what ingredient is going to pair well with which accord. So it opens up with this boozy accord. You have this Cabernet Sauvignon accord in the opening, which by the way is my favorite wine. I've tried many of them from Merlot to Pinot Grigio to Montepulciano. And this one is definitely in line with what my tastes are. And so it opens up with this booziness in the opening, which I think is amazing. And it has this chocolatey vibe. So it has cocoa absolute, and it opens up very gourmand, very full, very lush, very addictive and intoxicating. But the fragrance eventually dries down to this burst of red fruits, which is also apparent in the opening. You have the strawberry, you have cranberry, you have pomegranate, you have these red fruits kind of creating this sort of ruby accord. And when you give it a chance to dry down even further from that, you have this ambery nuance. And I feel like the amber that's in here is dominated by labdanum. And so labdanum for me has always been one of the sweeter resins out there. And you have this perpetual sweetness. So it opens up sweet with the cocoa. Obviously a lot of those fruity ingredients also contain a bit of sweetness as well, but that sweetness is retained in the base of the perfume as well on account of that amber accord. So it's listed uh, in the note breakdown as a fossil amber or a fossilized amber note. Uh, but I definitely get a lot of that lab denim in here, which conveys that sort of exotic richness to the perfume. This is such an incredibly cozy fragrance. It's so warm and addictive and inviting. And I think this is indicative of indie quality perfumes. They're not afraid to push the envelope a little bit. They're not afraid to be a little bit uh, experimental as opposed to a lot of designer fragrances. And more recently, unfortunately, a lot of niche brands are kind of becoming cookie cutter or they're analyzing trends in the industry and they're trying to find out what works and what doesn't work and what's going to, you know, really help them fulfill their bottom dollar. Uh, but I think in the case of this fragrance, there isn't that going on in here. You know, these fragrances, and I know personally because I have purchased a lot of naturals from a lot of different websites and I know how costly they can be. And I know that these are very expensive to manufacture and just the amount of time that it takes to put together a presentation like this and a fragrance like this. James, I know how much work you have poured into this project. And I must say, you know, congratulations to you, my friend, because this is such a special composition. Everything from juxtaposition and a man in his pipe. There are so many fragrances from the brand that I would 100% recommend. And I actually look forward to covering more of them on my channel because I think there's a lot of really special creations here. So let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. First up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this is 100% a unique fragrance. And that's typically the case when you're dealing with indie and artisan brands. They're not cookie cutter like designer brands. And unfortunately, more recently, a lot of niche brands that are kind of following the Aventus and Baccarat Rouge and all of these other trends. This one is super unique definitely stands out and the overall smell is very appealing because who doesn't like the smell of chocolate, right? I personally love the smell of chocolate. A lot of people would consider it to be an aphrodisiac, but just know that this isn't your typical citrusy aquatic ozonic fragrance. And so it's definitely going to cater towards a certain clientele and a certain demographic. In terms of the longevity, 12 plus hours on your skin, you can just tell with how dark the liquid is. Projection on this one is going to be very good for the first four hours of application.
position and it didn't start to sit, uh, radiate within an elbow's length until about that seven to eight hour mark. But expect this one to last a very long time on your skin. If you spray it on fabric, which I don't recommend, but even on a blotter, it's going to last for days. In terms of the versatility, I think this one is better suited for the colder weather. I wouldn't wear this one in the dead of summer. I think it could be a little bit too cloying. And again, four sprays is all you need. Anything beyond that is going to be too much. You can even get away with doing two or three sprays of this fragrance because of how strongly concentrated it is. I think anybody of any age can wear this one just because, you know, I feel like the sweeter elements could make this a little bit more youthful, whereas those resins and the, you know, wine note could probably make it a little bit more mature as well. And I think this one is better suited for a formal scenario just because it does give off that special occasion vibe. In terms of the presentation, it's a 10 out of 10. My final verdict on this fragrance is it is the coziest fragrance that I have ever smelled. I absolutely love the way that this one smells. I know for many years now, I've considered tea-based fragrances, especially those containing cinnamon, to be very cozy. I'm talking about Chai by Baruti, Tea for Two by Lardison Parfumera, but this one totally is a game changer because it has sort of realigned my perception of what I consider to be a cozy fragrance. And this is much more realistic in the sense that I think a lot of us do consume the adult beverage after which this fragrance is named, but a lot of us also consume chocolate as well. And so it really hits home for me. It's an amazing fragrance. And I really hope that more people out there have a chance to smell it. And I hope that somebody can be lucky enough to win this fragrance. All you have to do is leave a comment down below and also make sure that you are subscribed to the mailing list over at the company's website. A link for that is also going to be down below as well. And we will be checking to make sure that the person who wins the giveaway is also uh, signed up to the email list. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. A final congratulations to James for having the line available at Lucky Scent. I know that is a huge move and you definitely deserve all of the success that's coming your way. Again, if you are new to the channel, and you took something of value from this video, I would really appreciate it if you could support this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner and of course, make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. Thanks again for watching. I love you all and we'll see you next time. Bye.